Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. There are three ways to control the input channels of your SQ mixer. You can use DCAs, groups and gangs. Today we talk about groups. Have fun. Groups and auxes are mix buses that can sum a number of individual inputs together. There is a total of 12 mix buses available that can be used as auxes, for example for monitors or as groups. First of all, you need to go to Setup. Then go to Mixer Config. There you can start the bus configuration. Here you can choose how many auxes for monitors and how many groups you want to have. The sum, as mentioned, is always 12. I often start dialing in 6 groups and 6 auxes for monitors. That serves most of my needs quite well. Hit apply and then yes. The confirmation window just showed that the selection is global and can't be changed from scene to scene. Next up you go to Mix Stereo how many groups and auxes you want to have in stereo or mono. Let's say you want to have three mono and three stereo groups. Again, don't forget to hit apply. One thing I always find a little confusing is that the order here is first groups, then auxes. On the mixer surface, however, it's the other way around. Hashtag feature request. <laughs> The easiest way to assign channels to a group is by using the Assign button. I love this feature. When you press the Assign button, you can see which channels are assigned to the chosen mix bus, in this case the main LR bus. If we go to a group, none of the selected button is lit up. That means no channels are assigned to that group. Now, to assign a channel to a group, simply hold down the Assign button and select your channels, one by one and maybe all of them, if you like to. And don't forget to unassign those channels from the main bus. Because the audio length is different when going through a group compared to going directly to the main bus, chances are high you end up with a bad sound due to comp filtering. Go to the main LR bus. Hold down the Assign button and unassign all the channels you don't want to have going to the LR bus. Alright, and now, as you can see, when you go to your group, all the channels are going to my group. And if we go to the LR bus, none of my channels is going there. There is another way to assign a channel to a group. You could use the Channels touchscreen routing menu. What you can see here is an overview of all the assignments. At the moment, input channel 1 is going to the left-right bus as shown by the purple indicator. From this menu, you could also change the level via the touchscreen wheel. And because it's a solid colored block, you know your assignment is active. If I now unassign the channel from the main left-right, you can see the indicator is hollow. And now you want to assign this channel to a group. Scroll over where your groups are, there is the drum group and hit on. And by some magical tech wizardry, we can see a little purple dot right here, indicating the channel is assigned. A really cool way to assign a channel to a group is by using the assign button and the channel to all mix button. Press it and you see all the levels that are going to your monitors, to your aux groups and your effects sense, for example. Assignment is done by holding down simultaneously the channel to all mix and the assign button. And now you can say go to group 1, go to group 2 or to group 3. Or group 3. Blah, blah, blah. By now I've shown you three different ways to assign the input channels to groups. Now I'm going to show you how to assign the groups to the output buses. On the routing screen of our drum group, you can clearly see that we're assigned to the main, but not to matrix 1. So, when we want to change that, all we have to do is unassign the drum group from the main left right, scroll over to the matrices and head on to assign to the matrix. Every mix bus comes with some nice processing possibilities. 
we have an insert point, a graphic EQ, a parametric EQ, and very nice, a compressor. Of course, you can choose one of the compressor models from the library, provided you've chosen to purchase one of those. The graphic EQ can be operated by touching on the frequencies you want to manipulate and then go over to the touchscreen wheel and change all the settings. Or you take the fader flip mode, press the button and all the faders will now control individual frequencies. Once you're done with the sublime frequency changes, you can of course zero the frequencies out by touching the select buttons. Pressing the fader flip key a second time on the SQ5 or SQ6 displays the next set of frequency bands and a third press will exit the mode. Of course, you can zero out the frequencies here as well, assuming you're hitting the right buttons. The LEDs in the mix bus buttons are multicolored. If they are blue, they show you that there's an aux and if they are purple, they show you there's a group. Very easy. To make it idiot-proof, I use a piece of gaff tape. So, now I know exactly that in the down part there are the groups and in the upper parts there are the auxes. Every mix bus, the groups, the auxes, the main left-right and the matrices feature a mix external in input. This input can be used if all your processing is not available anymore, but you have some sources you want to patch in. For example, you put a um, backing track into the I.O. port and there you have it, an extra input, but without level control and without processing. Alright guys and girls, that's it for today. I hope you liked the video. If you want to see more of my content, please click here and see you next time. Bye bye.